Hello everyone, welcome to Shan's Patwa Academy, Jamaican Patwa Simplified. My name is Shan and I'm from Jamaica. In this lesson series, I answer your questions about the Jamaican Patwa language and grammar. So if you have any questions about the Jamaican Patwa language and grammar that you would like answered, please write your questions in the comment section below and which country you are from. Today's now, question today's comes from a student from the United States and she asks, what does mandem mean? So if you would like to know what mandem mean, please stay tuned. Come and me teach your part one now. Have you ever heard the term man them, girl them, picnic them? Have you ever wondered what they mean? Well, that's just how Jamaicans pluralize nouns. Now let me take it way back a bit because maybe some people don't even remember what nouns are. So let's try to define that. A noun is a name. A noun is the name of people, places, animals, things, or ideas. So for example, we have Now, this is a picture of a cat, and this is the word cat. Now, the noun here is the word, the word, okay? Not the actual thing. This is an animal, this is a cat, a moving thing, but the word, the name of this thing is the noun. So the word cat here is the noun. I don't know if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So now that we know what nouns are, what's, what does plural mean? And by the way, guys, um, the Jamaican name for cat is puss. So let me start writing those. So we have English. Uh, plurals Jamaican Pato and plurals so like I just showed you cat c-a-t the name of the thing this is a known cat now, what is a plural? Plural means more than one, okay? So one is singular, two, three, four, anything over one, more than one is plural. So the plural of cat, this noun would be cats. You add an S, cats, okay? Now in English, there are many rules to pluralizing nouns. And stay with me for a bit. We, we, I'm, I'm explaining it in English so you have the background knowledge so that when we move on to Jamaican Patwa, you know what we're talking about. So just bear with me just a little bit. It'll make sense soon. So I'm going to write some nouns here, some examples of nouns. So we have cat, we have girl, church, Wife, city, cactus, child, man, foot, tooth, woman, And let's add mouse. 
Okay, so we have a list of nouns here in English. Now, remember I said the plural of a noun means more than one of that noun. So, here we have cat. The, to pluralize this, we add S. English has many rules. So let's quickly recap some of those rules. Girl, we add an S, so we get girls. Church, we add ES, so we get churches. Wife, we change the F to V and add ES, so we have wives. City, you change the Y to I and add ES. So we add cities. Cactus, you take off all of this together, you get cacti. Child, children. Man, the plural in English is men. Foot, feet. Tooth, teeth. Woman, woman. And mouse, the plural is mice. So, in some cases, we have rules in English where you add an S, you add ES, you change some letters around. In some cases, the words change altogether. So let's, let's learn about Jamaican Patois. Let's learn how all of this translates in Jamaican Patois. So first of all, like I said earlier, the Jamaican word for cat is Jamaican Patois word, puss. And for girl, we say gal. For church, church. Wife, I guess we say wife, but it's spelled different. City, still city. Cactus, there's a popular type of cactus in Jamaica called tuna. So I grew up calling this cactus because it's so many places in Jamaica so we used to say tuna so I'm gonna write that here just like how in Jamaican patois aloe vera is single bible child in Jamaica is pickney man in Jamaican patois is still man man foot is foot T tooth we say teeth referring to one we we say teeth teeth woman same woman mouse we say mice referring to one micey micey so we want like a micey. Yeah, we said micey. All right, so let me just do the, the singulars for English and for Jamaican Patois. So cat is puss, girl, gal, church, church, wife, wife, city, city, cactus, tuna, child, picnic, man, man, foot, foot, tooth, Teeth, woman, woman, mouse, micey. All right, following me so far? I hope you are. Then, how do we pluralize Jamaican Patois nouns? Remember, I said earlier to pluralize a noun in English, yeah, there are so many rules, and plurals mean more than one of a noun, right? So, how do we pluralize in Jamaican Patois? It's very simple. We add them. We add them to the ending. 
So it's like a suffix we added to the ending of the words. Now let's test this rule. So basically, Jamaican Pato just have the one rule, right? So let's test the rule. See if it works in all cases, because in English, there were so many rules. But in Jamaican Pato, let's test these rules. So I just said the only rule is add them. So one puss, the puss them. So that works. Plural of puss, puss them. Gal, gal them. Church, church them. Wife, wife them. City, city them. Tuna, tuna them. Tuna them. Pitney. Pitney them. Man. Man them. Foot. Foot them. Teat. Teat them. Woman. Woman them. Micey. Micey them. So in order to pluralize Jamaican pato words, nouns, you add them. There is one exception to this rule, but it's going to take an entire lesson. But it's, it's not so common, and I'll explain it later on. But this is the general rule, and it works in most cases. So to answer the question that was asked by the student in the United States, what does mandem mean? Mandem really means men. That's what it means, men. Simple. Okay, that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, any Jamaican Patois grammar questions that you would like answered, please leave those in the comment section below. And if you're still here, please like the video. Thank you so much for watching. Are the bell that? Class don't you know? Take care of yourself. See? Please like, share, and subscribe. And please hit that notification bell so that you may be notified every time when I upload a video. Also, please follow me on Instagram for daily Jamaican Patwa vocabulary. Are the bell that? Class don't you know? Take care of yourself. See?